go. Hello, and welcome aboard Shalom Supersonic Airlines. We're glad you're here. We have a few safety regulations we'd like to go over with you before we begin our flight. First of all, there'll be you will find a safety brochure underneath your seat in the pocket in front of you. It goes over the features of our 747, including exits and other safety information. Please familiarize yourself with this before the flight starts. Also, when you're storing your luggage, make sure that it fits firmly beneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead companions compartments, which don't exist. Next, please remain in your seat for safety at all times with your seat belt fastened as long as the captain has the seat belt fastened light on. If you do need to get up, it should be only for an emergency. And then you can follow the lighted exits to the back of the plane. You'll find two exits on the right, two on the left, two over the wings, and one at the fore and aft cabin. Please familiarize yourself with these exits before takeoff. And if you're unwilling to open the emergency door, please let a flight attendant know immediately. Also, if there's a loss of cabin pressure, a oxygen mask will drop down from above. Firmly tug on the mask, pull the plastic band, elastic band over your mouth and nose and breathe normally. If you're traveling with a small child, please make sure that the child's mask is attached before you do yours. Thanks again for flying on Shalom Supersonic Airlines. We're so glad to have you with us. We hope you have a wonderful, uneventful flight. Hello children. Welcome to Shalom Supersonic Airlines. I'm mobile pilot tonight. <laughs> now, we're going to make some introductions and we're going to go over some rules to make this as nice of a flight as we can. And I still have my rotted tooth. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it got a little bigger. Alright. So, first thing I want to do is introduce some of my staff to you tonight. Yes, the staff has grown. For y'all that have followed us, or whatever. All right. So the first person I'd like you to meet is my co-pilot for tonight, and his name is. Oh boy. His name is Corporal Punishment. Hi. <laughs> All right, you're done. <laughs> All right. And the next person I'd like you to meet is, come on, come on, this is Commander Uhura. Can you say Uhura? Say it, Jesse Thoner. Uhura. Jesse Thoner. All right, this is Captain uh, Commander Uhura. Are you done? Yeah, I don't get it done. So. <laughs> okay. All right. And there's one more introduction I'd like to make. Just give me a minute here. Hmm. Okay. And I have one more introduction to make tonight. I have a new staff member as well. And I'd like to... <clears throat> I'd like to introduce you to the thing. Come on, the thing. <laughs> This is the thing. Say hi, thing. Mm. <laughs> he can't talk. <laughs> so, all right, that's good. The thing you can go now. All right, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> is it on now? Okay. Did you like that cut? I know it's smooth. Maybe I should teach a class and video, whatever. All right. Now listen. Now it's time for the importante stuff, all right? Spanish again, I know, a man of many talents, all right? <clears throat> We're gonna start with our rules. And there are three of them, hence the three fingers. <clears throat> My tooth is making me choke. And we're gonna start with the first one, which is what you do. And so here's the first rule, okay? 
you may not at any time get up and walk around once the fight has started. It's dangerous and rather annoying. All right, if you do, here's the punishment. All right, the first thing that's going to happen is the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to pelt you with paper products. No, not paper products. Yes, son, paper products, and it gets worse. After the paper products, you're going to have to eat the thing's beard. No! <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, I know, the thing's beard, so I probably wouldn't walk around. Alright, here's an example. Alright, when's the fight? No, boy, what are you doing walking? I said you can't walk around. Punishment number one, go! Now wait, if I go like this, he's gonna come. Well, there he is, the beast! No! No! Oh no! Eat that thing! No! Eat the beer! No! Like that pose? Now I was going to like that. I was like, I'm like the captain, the major. All right? Okay, so here's rule number two. I can do my numbers now. Number two. That's two twos. All right? Rule number two. In case of a drop in cabin pressure, I know the vocabulary just continues to get bigger. All right? So in case that happens, which basically means there ain't no air and you can't breathe no more, all right, little mass thing, whoa, the technology gets bigger, all right? Then this little thing, well, don't worry about that thing. Put it on your mouth now. Woo, oxygen, Okay, breathe, because if you don't, I, what? Okay, if you don't breathe in the mask, you might pass out, and remember, then you might die. So, watch this little part of a video, and we'll show you what to do. Alright. Again, two threes. I know it ain't six. All right. So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna have some flight attendants. One whom you have already met, named Commander Uhura. All right. And so, no matter who they are, what their name is, you can't be mean to the flight attendants. Do you understand? You cannot be mean to the flight attendants. If you do, the first thing that may happen is you may ain't gonna get a drink. You ain't gonna get a drink. Does you understand? So if you're mean to them, you ain't gonna get a drink. Let me say it different like the last time. Flip my hat. You ain't gonna get a drink. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Now, in addition to the ain't gonna get you a drink thing, I ain't even gonna tell you the punishment because you don't even want to know. This thing shouldn't be discussed on a video. <laughs> Or whatever. And I tooth, I kind of digested part of it. Okay, so, anyways, so watch this example. This is, this is serious here. Okay. Hello, sir. Would you like a drink? Hey, lady, give me a drink. What did you just say, boy? No!